Naomi's heart pounded with fear and confusion as the homeless man ran away as if he had just seen a ghost. Quickly, she took her daughter in her arms, unable to comprehend what had just happened and why the man had reacted so strongly. Little did she know, this unsettling encounter would lead to a series of revelations that would leave her astounded. Before we continue, please take some time to subscribe to Daily Dose, like and share this video with your friends. Naomi was unaware that her young daughter Nina had a profound understanding of the situation, much more than she had revealed. Although it was the first time her mother had seen the homeless man, Nina had actually already had some interactions with him that had occurred over the span of several weeks. The homeless man made it clear that he did not want anyone else to know about these interactions, so they were kept secret from everyone else. Naomi was shocked beyond belief when she finally discovered the truth. Her mind was spinning with disbelief and her heart sank into despair. It felt like the ground had crumbled beneath her, leaving her on unsteady foundations. Nina, Naomi's closest confidant and trusted friend, had been secretly engaging in deceitful acts, acts that Naomi had never even imagined were possible in their seemingly unbreakable bond. The homeless population in downtown LA is rapidly growing and has become a pressing issue that requires immediate attention. It has reached a point where encountering a homeless individual every minute or so is almost unavoidable. This distressing situation cannot be ignored or brushed aside. However, even in this gloomy situation, there are still individuals who choose not to ignore it. And little Nina is one of those extraordinary children who have an impressive level of awareness and empathy. Since the very beginning of school, Naomi, her mother, faithfully walked her to school every morning. As they walked through the busy streets, she couldn't help but notice the people scattered along the sidewalks huddled against the cold concrete. She felt a strong sense of concern and turned to her mother to ask about the situation of these unfortunate people. She was puzzled and wondered why they had to sleep outside, exposed to the elements as if they were on an impromptu camping trip. Naomi struggled to find the right words to say to her daughter. She felt the weight of the situation and knew that Nina, her compassionate and empathetic daughter, deserved to know the truth. However, the thought of telling Nina filled Noemi with dread as she anticipated the immense sadness it would bring to her beloved child. However, Noemi knew that if she decided to deceive Nina, the repercussions of her lie would eventually catch up to her, possibly causing irreparable harm to their relationship. After much contemplation, Naomi made the brave decision to finally reveal the truth to Nina. She mustered up the courage to explain to her daughter that the individuals they had encountered were incredibly unfortunate and faced dire circumstances. These individuals not only lacked any financial means, but they also did not have a shelter to call their own. Although many kind-hearted individuals wanted to help, it was extremely difficult to provide assistance to these individuals. When Naomi told Nina about this, she noticed her daughter trying to understand and process the seriousness of the situation. She was worried that her daughter genuinely desired to assist the homeless individuals, which posed a challenge since they were financially strained. Both of them were barely managing to survive, relying on each paycheck and facing difficulties in meeting their expenses. They were already in a tight financial situation, barely having enough to cover their basic needs. It was a constant struggle to juggle rent, bills, and groceries. Regrettably, Nina was unaware of the financial strain they were facing because her mother had shielded her from the harsh reality of their situation. Fortunately, Nina didn't seem inclined to go that far. She did, however, reach into her small purse, a charming pink one adorned with a delicate floral pattern. Naomi couldn't help but smile as she watched Nina retrieve her neatly folded and slightly crinkled lunch money from its hiding place. Nina, with a thoughtful expression, turned to her mother and gently expressed that she didn't need lunch today if someone else needed the money more. This display of selflessness and compassion showcased her caring nature. This is exactly how Nomi knew her daughter, a kind-hearted and generous soul who always had a desire to assist others, even if it meant sacrificing her own lunchtime at school. While Nomi would have preferred her daughter to eat at school, she couldn't bring herself to prevent her from giving the money. At least not today, as she recognized the significance of nurturing her daughter's compassionate nature. However, Naomi was aware that this should not become a regular occurrence as it could potentially impact her daughter's well-being. However, she was unaware that soon this would no longer be a concern for the mother.
With the money firmly grasped in her hand, Nina walked confidently towards the closest homeless man. Her mother stood at a safe distance, watching the scene with a blend of worry and curiosity. As she got closer, she noticed the man's frail form hunched over as if in deep prayer, his cup outstretched in a plea for any spare change. Nina strained her ears, trying to decipher the indistinct mumblings that escaped his lips. However, the words remained elusive, leaving her intrigued and longing to understand his story. She had a warm and genuine smile on her face as she reached into her purse and took out a few crumpled dollar bills. She carefully placed them into the man's cup, feeling a sense of joy and fulfillment. She knew that she was making a difference in someone's life and expressed her genuine happiness to be able to help him in any way she could, speaking in a gentle tone. The homeless man, who had been sitting with his head down, quickly raised his gaze, his eyes filled with gratitude and appreciation. A reciprocal smile appeared on his weathered face, emanating a glimmer of hope and gratitude. However, as their eyes connected, a sudden change took place, causing the man's smile to vanish and a look of confusion and sadness to take its place. Even from a short distance, Naomi could discern the homeless man's expression. It appeared to be a mixture of fear and shock, as if he had witnessed something beyond comprehension. The deep lines on his face revealed a tale of hardship and despair, causing Naomi to feel a deep sense of empathy. However, what the homeless man uttered next filled her with a sense of dread as his whispered words sent a shiver down her spine, making her worry for her daughter's well-being. Fortunately, she remained nearby, her protective instincts taking over as she quickly moved towards her daughter, resolved to ensure her safety. As the unknown homeless man dressed in tattered clothes and with a weathered face struggled to stand up, his frail body trembled. He extended a trembling hand, pointing directly at Nina. His face showed a mix of disbelief and desperation as he mustered all his strength and let out a piercing cry that echoed through the busy streets. This can't be true! Nina was left frozen in shock by the sheer intensity of his outburst. Her wide eyes remained locked onto the retreating figure as the homeless man swiftly turned on his heels and sprinted away with unexpected agility. Amidst the chaos around him, he left behind not only his tip cup, but also a trail of unanswered questions. At this point, Naomi had reached Nina and embraced her, providing warmth and comfort. Surprisingly, instead of feeling sad or scared, Naomi was filled with a deep sense of astonishment. The man's unexpected reaction left her completely perplexed, making it impossible for her to understand why he behaved that way. However, one thing was absolutely clear to Naomi. She was determined to ensure Nina's safety and well-being, and that meant quickly getting her out of this unsettling environment. The homeless man who was shouting had attracted the attention of almost everyone nearby, creating a commotion that reverberated through the bustling city streets. People halted in their steps, intrigued by the unexpected disruption. When the man abruptly vanished into the crowd, the onlooker's attention turned to the mother and daughter standing nearby. Their eyes were brimming with curiosity and worry as they were eager to comprehend what had just occurred. Naomi, feeling both confused and uneasy, was unable to find the right words. She couldn't explain the man's sudden outburst, and the last thing she desired was to be bombarded with questions from the increasing crowd. After a brief look at her daughter, she swiftly decided to leave the scene, hoping to evade the curious stares and prevent any additional inquiries. She hurriedly took Nina to school without mentioning anything about the incident. Her hope was to swiftly erase it from her memory, suppressing the disturbing thoughts to the depths of her mind. However, deep inside, Naomi herself was aware that she wouldn't be able to easily forget this encounter. It had left a lasting impression on her mind, constantly haunting her every moment she was awake. While making her way back home, she found herself on the same street where the incident had occurred. As she strolled along, she couldn't help but notice that all the belongings the homeless man had left behind in his panic were now missing. Nevertheless, she distinctly recalled witnessing other individuals frantically snatching those possessions earlier that morning, as if they were competing against time. The street seemed to have undergone a magical transformation, completely erasing any evidence of the chaotic events that had occurred just moments ago although most of the people who had witnessed the situation had already left at this point. It was clear that a considerable number of the remaining homeless individuals who had been in the area before the incident were still staying there. 
Naomi couldn't help but wonder if any of them could provide her with more information about the unusual situation involving the homeless man whom Nina had given money to. When Naomi approached most of the homeless individuals, they responded by saying they had no idea about the person she was asking about. Some of them said they didn't know him, had never seen him behave like that before, or just didn't want to answer. However, in the midst of all the uncertainty, there was one person who surprisingly had some valuable information to share with the worried mother. He informed her that he had observed the homeless man in question at this location since last month. The man's name was David, and although he didn't have much information about him, he did find him to be quite amiable and gentle during their limited interactions. Nevertheless, in recent weeks he had noticed a gradual shift in David's behavior. However, his belief in David's genuine goodness remained intact. Nevertheless, everything took a turn a few days ago. He had been seeing David in the same spot on the busy street every day for weeks, but to his surprise and worry, David was suddenly missing for three whole days. The man was puzzled and filled with a mix of worry and curiosity. Not only did David fail to return to his usual spot to sleep, but all of his belongings had mysteriously vanished as well. The man couldn't help but wonder if David had managed to find temporary shelter elsewhere or if something unforeseen had befallen him. Surprisingly, David did return. However, it was clear that he had undergone a significant transformation. Unfortunately, this change was not positive. David seemed to have become more isolated, spending most of his time alone. There were instances when he appeared visibly scared and his behavior became more and more paranoid. Interestingly, he never provided a satisfactory explanation for his changed behavior. There were some who believed that his strange actions could be linked to drug use, which is a common problem in this region. However, the man himself had doubts about this theory as he felt it couldn't completely explain David's disturbing transformation. Struggling to find the right words, he could only convey that much to Naomi. Afterward, he held up his own tip cup, which had a small sign saying, any contribution is greatly appreciated. He did this in a not-so-subtle manner, making sure to catch Naomi's attention. Despite his somewhat desperate attempt, he made an effort to hold the cup steadily, showing his determination. Touched by his persistence, Naomi decided to support him by giving him a couple of dollars. As she gave him the money, she couldn't help but feel grateful for his willingness to assist. Although she still didn't know what she desired, she now had a name and a starting point for her quest for answers. Searching for a specific homeless man in the vast expanse of Los Angeles is like finding a tiny needle in a huge haystack. It's a difficult task that requires a lot of patience and determination. However, our protagonist had an advantage. She knew what the man looked like and was determined to find him. With this knowledge in hand, she set out on a relentless mission, exploring the streets and alleys, tirelessly interrogating other impoverished individuals nearby in the hopes of finding a clue. Despite her brave endeavors, the afternoon passed by, leaving her feeling disheartened and crestfallen as she only came across a few obvious lies. Feeling disappointed, she reluctantly went to the school to pick up Nina. But right before entering the classroom, Nina's concerned teacher unexpectedly stopped her. The teacher's face showed worry, as she had noticed a change in Nina's behavior during their recent video calls. Curious and eager to discover the cause of this change, she asked eagerly about what had happened. Throughout the day, she remained unusually quiet, which was out of character for her since she was typically one of the most talkative children in the class. When the teacher inquired about her well-being, she hesitated briefly before finally voicing her concern, I have to assist David. The teacher didn't recognize the name David, but it made Naomi worried and curious about what might be happening. How on earth did Nina know the name of the homeless man? She had just discovered it herself this afternoon and hadn't mentioned it to Nina at all. Plus, the likelihood of her referring to a different David, someone completely unrelated to the homeless man, was extremely unlikely. The situation here was perplexing. As she thought about the mysterious connection between Nina and the homeless man, it seemed to deepen, leaving her with a growing sense of curiosity and intrigue. Feeling a sense of urgency, Naomi wasted no time in approaching the teacher to recount the events that had unfolded earlier that morning. However, she intentionally chose not to reveal the truth about her lack of understanding regarding Nina's mention of David. Naomi had a feeling that she needed to talk openly with her daughter to clear things up. She hoped that by the next day everything would be resolved and settled. However, fate had a different plan in store for her. 
Nina help the homeless man before, but David got wrongly arrested for it at the time, so when he saw Nina gain, he was afraid it would happen again. Little did Nina know she had previously helped the homeless man without her mother's knowledge. Unbeknownst to her, this act of kindness would have unexpected outcomes. Unbeknownst to her, the last time she selflessly gave him money, there were vigilant police officers nearby closely watching the situation. By a twist of fate, David was swiftly apprehended on suspicion of inappropriate contact with a minor. As a result, he found himself confined within the cold and desolate walls of a jail cell for a grueling period of three agonizing days. However, due to a lack of substantial evidence, the authorities were compelled to release him. Despite his newfound freedom, the haunting memories of his time behind bars lingered in David's mind, instilling an overwhelming sense of fear and dread. Thus, when he unexpectedly encountered Nina once again, his heart raced with terror, fearing the possibility of being unjustly incarcerated once more. Driven by sheer panic, he hastily fled from the scene, desperately seeking refuge from the looming threat of imprisonment.